So what does that rearview mirror look like in a shorter sense when we're talking about inventory? After I posted the last video, a bunch of discussions ensued and people were really focusing on the last three years of that. So let's break this down by month so we can see this market, how it's behaving and the direction that it's going in right now. If we look at 2020, which is the blue bar in the graph above, we start to see that going into 2020, pre-COVID, Inventories were still pretty low from a historical perspective. We're bouncing around that three, 3.1 inventory rate. And for those that um, were plugged into some of the conversations I was having when the pandemic first hit, uh, I was really offering the opposite opinion of what most were. Most were saying the real estate market's gonna crash. Um, I was saying, I think there's a really good chance that the total opposite happens because those inventory rates were already low and pandemic might just cause people not to sell. Um, that actually is what ended up playing out. Um, and interestingly enough, as we look at this graph above here in 2020, we see that the inventory rates did climb a bit up until May, but then we saw this massive fall off toward the end of that year. 2021, we saw a little bounce. Some of that could be due to seasonal markets, um, but we ended that year down in the ones, 1 1.8 range when it comes to monthly inventory. And what we're seeing now last year, full year to analyze 2020, 22, um, we ended the year significantly higher for the first time in a while than we started the year, which is showing progress in that the inventories are going up. But if you remember in part one, we had said that that market balance is really between that five and six statistically at the six month inventory. We're still ending last year around 2.9. And depending on what market you're in right now, we're seeing them fluctuate a little up, a little down, or still at that around three range uh, as well. So right now we're waiting for the spring market to see which direction this market's gonna break. The inventory number that we're looking at here is gonna be a real big factor in where home pricing goes because if there's nothing to sell even if there's a lot less buyers we're still going to see that demand balance with supply and pricing remains steady looking forward to the next video in this series as always feel free to comment ask any questions you like my cell phone is always open to you